people who know me know I really like to in, you know, encourage people that are just getting into the business. And there's this company called Google, you know, and they got a great idea. And uh, it looks like they're going to do a lot with it. So, uh, so I thought, gee, maybe we'll invite them to come speak. And uh, you know, to be serious, uh, you know, Google's become really the, the force in our industry. And I will say the force for good. Um, and one of the things that Google's doing that is so important you know, we've been talking about testing and tracking, tracking since the very beginning of our trainings. The problem was it was, was kind of hard. And the tools were kind of spotty, and the tools were kind of, the good ones were really expensive. And what Google has done is gone out and, and searched for the best uh, of breeds, state-of-the-art uh, uh, tracking tools, uh, analytics tools, testing tools, uh, and given them away, uh, free. And so the, really the only price of admission is knowledge and knowing how to use them. So Tom Leung, who is the senior business product manager for Google Website Optimizer, uh, is here today to explain this new gift from Google and how to use it to uh, grow your business and, and make more money. So please, everybody, give a warm hand for Tom Young. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Let's see. First thing I'm going to do is apologize. Uh, I'm going to pitch you really hard on a product. I know that's typically not what people want to hear, but it is a free product, so I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, and it's something that we use internally at Google for our own PPC campaign. So we think it's pretty good, and uh, hopefully you will too. So what we're going to cover today, in the next 45 minutes or so, is I'll go over what Website Optimizer is. We'll look at a number of case studies. Uh, looking at how people have used it already, including ourselves. If we have time, I'll also go into a quick demo just to show you a little bit of the, of the tool itself. Uh, if there's interest, we can also look at um, some real time at some pages on the web and sort of diagnose them and say, OK, well, what would we test here? And I'm happy to take volunteers if people want to volunteer a campaign they're running. Um, then I'll also share. Some of the things that we've learned in the last, oh, over two years of development of, uh, of this particular product, and then some uh, tips and resources and, and Q&A. Now, that's a lot in 45 minutes. So the next thing I'd like to do, uh, these, well, you really can't see that, but these three things in bold here, the case studies, the demo, and the real-time diagnoses, is probably not something where we can do all three in great depth. So what I, I'm going to ask you to do is um, pick uh, one that you think is the most important. I'll, I'll do all three, but I'll kind of weight it based on the interest. So uh, if out of the three things, case studies, which is showing you uh, different tests that people have run and you know, before and after stuff is really important, or the demo where we go in and we actually start setting up an experiment and we add tags, or uh, taking volunteer uh, campaigns and actually going on Google, searching for them, looking at the landing page. Um, those would be your three kind of main areas that we can focus on. So for case studies, who, who, for who is that their number one thing? OK. And now for the demo? Oh, OK. And then the real-time diagnoses? OK, so we're going to do all three. We're going to spend. Most of the time on uh, the demo, uh, a good amount of time on the case study, and then we'll do a little bit of diagnosis as well. So what is Website Optimizer? It's really part of an overall marketing suite of tools that Google uh, has developed. A lot of you are probably familiar with AdWords. Appreciate you using that product, by the way. It's, uh, what makes the other products possible uh, in terms of making it freely available. And so AdWords is great about driving traffic to your site, right? It's about, like uh, Glenn was talking about, picking the right keywords and then showing the right ads and getting people to your site. And that's fantastic, but that's really um, one of the three legs of the stool, at least from our point of view. The next one is Google Analytics, or whatever web analytics tool you like to use. And you know, frankly, you could use interchange this with uh, Yahoo or, or Microsoft or AOL, whatever PPC networks you like. And then you use whatever web analytics tools you like to track what's going on. 
OK, I, I know this is getting a good click-through rate, but for those keywords that Glenn was talking about, you know, he mentioned, well, what is the cost per lead? What's the conversion rate? What's the bounce rate? And so just because something's getting high clicks, but it doesn't convert well, it's probably one of the number one killers of efficiency in an online marketing campaign, those really expensive, high volume keywords that get lots of clicks and no sales. Um, one way to figure that out is using web analytics tools. And actually, uh, I think on Sunday, there's a breakout session led by um, Tim Seward from ROI Revolution, just about Google Analytics. So that's great about monitoring performance, what's going on. And then sort of closing the loop is Google Website Optimizer, which is to say, OK, I can do my best job in finding the perfect keywords that are the most likely to convert for me uh, based on using AdWords and analytics. But then it's up to me to present those people searching for those words with the right content that's really going to convert them and persuade them. And every time you update your website, you're making decisions based on gut feel and best practices, but you don't really know what's going to work. And oftentimes, the changes you make will actually make things a little bit worse. Um, and the only way to know is to scientifically do an experiment. 